So we had nothing at all. And uh, the thing that was most uh, excruciating for us is to have lost our liberty. Many people were losing their faith in a victory of the Allies because the Allies were losing all the battles at that time. To lose your uh, liberty, your freedom, your expressing your thoughts was one of the most, you know, terrible things for us to bear. Bullies are cowards. So, you know, you've got to oppose your will to the will of the bullies. I was born in Belgium in 1924. I was 15 years old when the Germans invaded Belgium on the 10th of May 1940. And uh, we were living in uh, Brussels. So we were brought up with a fear of being occupied by the Germans and we found out that uh, Hitler was gaining, was gaining a lot of power in Germany and we felt threatened for a long time. When uh, the Germans came in, we were ready to make opposition to whatever they were uh, doing to us at that time. We were pretty well organized because we absolutely refused to obey many of their uh, things, you know, that, were, that they were imposing to us. And uh, my father started writing an underground letter to make sure that the Belgians were not losing their uh, personality and remembering that uh, we were being oppressed by, you know, an enemy that we had known before. Both my father, my mother, and my brother were arrested by the Nazis and put in jail. Thank God they couldn't find anything, no incriminating evidence in my house, and uh, my parents were released after six months. Well, that honor is absolutely, you know, it's overwhelming because uh, the Righteous Among the Nation is a big organization and uh, they are going to have a plaque in the memory of my father and my mother uh, who helped us to help the Jewish people. So to be recognized by that great organization is really an honor and it is too bad that I cannot share the fruit of uh, our duty towards the Jewish people and towards humanity with my parents, who are unfortunately deceased for quite a long time. But uh, to be, you know, accepted and uh, to be recognized is an honor that I never expected, as a matter of fact, because I thought that what we were doing was the right thing to do. You know, when somebody is being downtrodden and being uh, oppressed by an occupant, that is your duty. You have got to come to the rescue. The hardest thing to do is to forgive your enemy. That is beyond the comprehension of many. But if you want to go ahead in life, you know, you've got to forgive. Don't forget, but forgive and understand because people change. There are some changes that occur. And, uh, you know, that is a message that I'm trying to give everybody. You know, come to the rescue of the downtrodden and uh, forgive your enemy. <laughs>